They will, but it should pop up again, and it should be quicker, hopefully, this time and work. Why I did that? I really don't know at this point, baby. It probably. I don't know the microphone. Do we need to? Uh, no, it's that's not. They could hear us. Okay. This, will have, this has a decent mic on it. All right. All right. We've got people rejoining now. <laughs> we hope we have liftoff. Can you guys see and hear us okay now? Rather than getting to live in the same country at this point. You know what would have been better doing? You going home to see your mom. You logging on there, me <laughs> logging on here. And it would have worked. <laughs> All sorted. Thank you. Thank Brilliant. you. Brilliant. Oh, well, that's taken a lot more than I expected that it would. <laughs> It just wouldn't let us go live, would it, on mine? No, it's given us all sorts of issues to get here. So thank you guys for sticking with us. I'll just get my bottle of vodka. Water. <laughs> Pretty. Uh. Right? Yes. <laughs> all right, well. Oh, well, well, can I just say something? Something. <laughs> This is hilarious because this is just every day for me, isn't it? It's like my vlogs. I told you I'm real. This is real. This is like you sit down to do something and it should be. Drunk again in charge of wheelchair. Oh, the stories we could tell about that. But we won't. It's not watershed. Not today. Mm -mm. That's another one. Catherine's saying you look nice. Oh, thank no one, you. no one's saying I look nice. That's normal. You look you, don't you? I look me. That's about right. You yeah. look you, and that's just fine. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, shall we dive into a few of the questions that were asked in advance? Yeah, before we disappear again. Ah. Oh, look! I look cool. There you go. Cool. As hot as it is here. Cool. And that, yeah. <laughs> it's like the pit of the a molten lava. It's, it is scorching hot here. Mind you, if you saw the little video earlier on Casey's channel when we're talking about food, which I think we should do it again. Answer that one again here. Okay. Well, we can. We for can anybody see maybe that missed. Okay. Yeah. Fine. But we were sitting out in the garden and I wasn't dressed like this. And I'll tell you, I was not cool. And he had a fan going and everything for me. Yeah. It was like, come on, we'll do it out here. I've got a fan on. And I went outside and give you the benefit and look what happened. I just sat there with my glasses Baking. falling down my nose. What? Yeah. Baking. What about it? We were out there. Picking, yeah, and it right, weren't me doing it, were it? No. In the kitchen. Right. All right. So, question master. First question. Now, I apologize in advance. I did not note down who asked which question. So, if uh, we read it out, just a new us, here. Let us know if it was your question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was too hot to look happy, I think, there. Uh, no, um, I wasn't. Okay, so I think a few different people asked this in various ways, forms, or fashions. Okay, but thank you for all the happy anniversary. Yes, thank you very much, everyone. Right, go now. So <laughs> a number of people have asked about <coughs> your job and why My you decided job. to do what you do and questions around that. So do you want to start there? Yeah. What but... is your job to start with? <laughs> your wife. Full-time job. I mean, yeah, no. that probably is a full-time job, yeah. Okay, so my job is independent travel agent, but I'm not just one of these fly-by-night people that just put posts up and go, oh, I'm a travel agent, book your holiday with me. 
I'm affiliated. I belong to a bigger company. And all that company does is use home workers. Yeah, they so don't actually use an office but they've been going for years in the states haven't they yeah they, they are a pretty old and basically they provide all the hr support and yeah like systems. third partners you know like since suppliers so that is my job and um, i'm oh, put up with my sarcasm is your, is your job you have no idea you've really no idea you just see a bit of it on here you see all the bits where I'm being, you know, nice. calm and yeah. Nice. So, so that is what my job is. Why I started it, when I started it, because before I was sitting on my backside as a full time job, okay, I had always worked in some form of another. I started work with Saturday jobs and stuff, you know, when you could, when you were like 12 or 13. Back when child labour was, you know, normal. <laughs> yeah, in, in Dick's days, as I always say. But, um, so I'd always worked and then accident, MS, etc. hadn't. I did craft. I have sold my crafts in the past, mm -hmm. but I lost all confidence in that and then lockdown happened and when everybody wasn't working here's me yes i am half irish i decided you know what i'm gonna do this because i was always the person that family friends always came to to uh, ask about holidays or flights and i just used to do it and then it got to the point where more and more people were asking me. She was so good at it anyway, she decided yeah. to make it a job. More and more people. Oh, you know, somebody would go, oh, I've got a friend and they're looking for a flight. And the big one for that was my dad's friends when my dad was around. And I was getting to the point where I'm all right finding all these things for people. What if something went wrong? I wouldn't live with myself. I'd have no backup. It'd be just like anybody going on the internet and doing it. Just, I I had a thing, I could always find it. Lots of people talking about your crafting. Mm. Um, so, oh, you don't, oh no, I'll tell you about my crafting in a minute. Anyway, so I was just on the internet one day, never said anything to this one. Because brain fog is a massive thing, as you know, for me, last few years. And I just typed in, you know, work from home travel agent. And a few companies come up. But then, weirdly, somebody approached me on Facebook. Yeah, I, I, you, I don't really know how all of that. No, I don't. Started, anyway. It, it all already happened by the it, time you told me anything yeah, that was it, going it, on. Yeah, it was all just so weird. It was like a bit spooky. Anyway, so I thought, right then, let's do it. So the first thing I had to do, Casey will attest to, is because I was so annoyed with myself, was my ABTA training. And I had to sit the ABTA exam for a start. And before I could do anything... And then I, you know, started working and stuff. And then the company got their own, uh, you know, oh, what do I want to say to do with the at all? And then I had to do all that as well. Yeah, you had to do quite a bit of kind of initial yeah, training. Yeah, we were and able to provide at all stuff because we do have a way that we can, um, if we don't go through a preferred supplier sort of like go on our home screen and you can add this to this and that to that and other to other. But really, I've never had to issue my own at all certificate as yet, but I'd surprise you. I do know what I'm doing. And I will get back in my craft room in 2026 because I can <laughs> hardly get through the door and it's a big double bedroom. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, so my, uh, my bedroom, our bedroom, 
but I do want my bedroom at some point. <laughs> I know, oh, shut up. Our bedroom. It's sort of now, it's a big bedroom, as you've seen. But up the end where my design feature is, that is all a door. I'm thinking about painting it white, getting you to paint it white, actually, that. But I've now just got a, a table, you know, like under the bed table that I had. I've got it out. And when you see me crafting, trying to be all professional with the camera down and stuff, that's where I am. So that answers the work. And I've blabbled on. And yes. the Casey, everything's not black and white or Casey coloured. Thank you. Next. Uh, I, I have seen another question there, but um, okay. sticking with a, a work question before we move on to uh, the other stuff. I've also had a couple questions about what I do for a living. So trying annoying to be... Annoying me. Yeah, other, other than annoying Joanne, which, I mean, is something that I have to work very hard to do sometimes. Actually, it's not very hard at all, but I still do it. Um, I also work in IT. I'm a business analyst. Yes, you are not a chef. No, not a chef. Um, so, in the lack uh, in, in the last couple of months, I was actually off work for a while, but I'll be starting back actually this coming Tuesday. Yeah, and I actually think I said on yesterday's vlog just to address that mm -hmm. that yeah, you've been in and out of hospital a couple yeah. of times earlier in the year, sir. So. Just thought it was better to get yourself right properly. Yeah, exactly. So, so just... yeah, took some time off for some health concerns. I start back uh, to work on Tuesday. New job. Um, new job. I'll be working in the office one or two days a week. Apologies, that might be the grandkids arriving. Um, so the dogs are going to go mad there for a minute. Um, but yeah, so I'll be in the office t about two days a week, home working from home the rest of the week. And uh, I'll go from there. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So um, I think we've had a couple questions just now, and they kind of tie into one that was asked previously. Okay. So there were a lot, a lot of questions about when or how you were diagnosed with MS. And then I've just noticed also that we've had questions about if you've always been in a wheelchair. Okay. So shall I do the first one first? Yeah, let's go, go with that one first. Okay, first one first, the MS and how I was diagnosed. Um, I had my first hospital admission in 1997, so it's a long, long time ago. And what happened was, for a good while, I'd been getting, like, fuzzy fingers yeah and I had toes at that point as well and feet so like you feel like you're walking around in woolly wellies um clumsy dropping things and and then out of the blue one morning I woke up and I couldn't see out of one of my eyes totally black I thought I'd scratched it. Um, I was with my first husband at the time. I thought maybe he'd knocked it. But no, I ended up at A&E and they admitted me straight away. They did some tests. They didn't even wait for all the tests to come back because some of them were so far off the scale that, you know, they, come and, they told me that they were like 99.9% .9 sure that I had MS. And it started as relapsing remitting all them years ago. And then, obviously, over time, it's changed. And it's a bit of a <coughs> pain in the backside the last few years. Of, it's really changed, hasn't it? Yeah, although, I mean, to be fair, it's not been as bad as they predicted it was going to. As quick. Yeah. Yeah, it's just all catching up now. Yeah. So let it catch up now and I'll, you know, I'll just see what happens. A lot of, you know, speak about the hospital and the palliative consultant. So we'll just, what's that? That's the MS. 
have i always been in a wheelchair no that was 1997 too really good year for me wasn't it that one and they say it comes in threes but it actually didn't <laughs> um no i was involved in a really nasty road traffic accident i was driving i was a passenger um so was my son who was very young at the time and i ended up my legs crushed by a container lorry i was trapped never blacked out i can't believe i'm doing this now um because my son was involved and he needed resuscitating but he's fine because i've got grandkids and life goes on and i didn't have my amputations at the time and i have to, i will speak more about it but i think that's all i can speak about for now because i don't want to get upset yeah. on this and you don't want to see me going oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's another sad you know no so there we go yeah, Catherine and Candy, I, I have seen that question, and that is one that we, we will be getting to in just a minute. That's definitely a big one that's been asked a lot of people about how we met. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the next thing we should move on to, I guess. So how we met. Um, we, we met completely online. Completely at random. Completely oh, at wow. random. Uh, and I couldn't get away. We both were members of a book. It was like a book review website. And I honestly, for the life of me, cannot when, remember uh, what no, the site and I was. I can't, and I wish I could. But um, it, and it was way back when, and a lot of people think we met because of dating apps, etc. But there weren't any. No, I think the closest you got to that was like the Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. chat rooms and groups. Yeah. You know, like married and flirting um, or whatever. But no, it wasn't even in there. It was yeah, geeky, so, nerdy me. So I had I had read a book, and. I had read you had read the same book and commented on it. Yeah, that's right. And then I started to read another book and saw that you had already commented on it. Mm. And I think after three or four books of spotting Joanne's name already on books I was reading, I, I think I sent a message, something to the effect of, okay, we're obviously reading the same books. What are you reading next? Because that's obviously going to be the next thing on my list. <laughs> and then... The worst thing of all <laughs> happened. No, this is even before we met. Met mm -hmm. the worst thing of all happened. I have always sort of like you know, with my son, play PlayStation, etc. Messed about with it, Casey. I've always been a gamer, mm -hmm. primarily a PC gamer rather than console, yeah. but so yeah. Casey said to me when we got messaging each other. He said, look, you know, there's me and a group of my friends and we play this game. And at the time it was, we started. Star Wars Galaxies was the first one. No, because we waited for that. No, that's right, yeah. Star Wars. And then, so I started playing this game. But there's a problem with this. I get really obsessive and I have to be the best in it no matter what i'm playing i have to be ooh, you know like i want to be the top level and i want to collect everything do everything well that's his dream isn't it that's me that yeah if i'm playing a game i'm going to absolutely min max every bit of and everything then, about it. you were waiting for everquest 2 everquest 2 to come. Yeah. Convinced Joanne to get that on launch day oh, with us. Oh, <laughs> that is my love. Never mind him. That is my first love. Will always be my game in love. And there's nothing like it now. And yeah, so. we, we had we had so much in common between books we and friends. games and interests. And we were friends online for ages. seven, eight. No, we weren't. It yeah, was it ages. Was, it was about four years 
we felt, were friends. It felt like a lot longer. Because what year did you go to Afghanistan? 2003, 2004? Mm, no, it must have been back in 2004. Yeah, maybe 2004, 2005. Because yeah. I used to send him tea bags and chocolate and, and things because he liked the English stuff, obviously. So um, um, so yeah, I went to Afghanistan as a here. civilian contractor for the military. And then you came home. I I'd never had a passport. I'd never left the United States before that. Uh, but I'd always kind of wanted to see England. I I'd, I'd wanted to see Stonehenge and, and various right, other things. Right, and we'll get this right before it skates over the next bit. You came home. It was November, I believe. And you were running out of the tea bags. Yep. And here's your man, he says to me, do you think you could send me some more tea bags? And at this point, we were voice chatting. I'd always been honest right from the get-go about me being in a wheelchair and having MS. And I think we were sort of doing a bit of, first time this stuff because it was starting to well get... it, it started out with like voice servers while yeah, we were playing video games then... so that we could talk and sort of type while we play yeah and, and then, then what's progressed to um, we used to use WhatsApp. whatsApp wasn't around yet then no but I'm saying we used to use WhatsApp a lot when it came out yeah when it came out but before that well, it was what I'm Yahoo was... Messenger yeah, and it was uh, a lot of voice and then uh, like using proper webcams and trying to yeah. Oh, it was all so stressful. But he asked for tea bags, basically. And she wouldn't send me anymore. No, she I, said no. I, I looked and I said no. And he said no. And I just went, if you want some more, why don't you come and get them? And at the time, my parents were alive. I'd, my pe I'd moved... Into a house with your parents. Yeah, so like they moved, I moved. Um, and of course, for the past three or four years, they heard me talking to Casey. My mum used to come in the bedroom and in the afternoon used to go, hey, Casey, because he, if he was getting up for work at five, I used to ring him at 11 a.m. Yeah, because of up. the time difference, it was like lunchtime for Joanne when I was waking up, so she'd ring me and be my alarm clock in the morning at that point. So it was easy for, you know, like my parents, my mum especially, sort of know that it was okay, sounded decent. She didn't know. Yeah. But your brother was convinced I was an axe, axe murderer. Axe You were on top 10 most wanted list. Yeah. Definitely my younger brother. So So I came over for two weeks the first time. He arrives the day before my birthday. Yep. And then... The, day, the, the reason that I still get Joanne's birthday wrong is I always think of January 10th because that was the day we first met, but actually her birthday is the 11th. But I remember I was arriving for her birthday, so it always to this day. So me off. when we first met, actually in the same space, not online, it was in Manchester Airport, and I mm -hmm. come to pick you up, and I wasn't driving, and my older brother had drove me, and we met. Has anybody seen Love Actually? Because it weren't like that. <laughs> No, I'm about to say, I haven't seen it, so I don't no, know. <laughs> but you came, you came through the gate, didn't you? And we just looked at each other and we smiled. And I think we were so comfortable with each other and we just give each other a massive hug. But, like, your mum was convinced you were going to get to this end and there'd be nobody to pick you up. Yeah, my mum was convinced that no one would show up and I'd just be in the UK alone with nothing and, and no one. But No, so that's how we met. But I came over for a couple of weeks Went didn't see nearly everything that I had planned on. You didn't see on, so. enough of me. No. Uh, came back. About a month later, came back for three weeks. Went back. Went back. Came back. Came back for six weeks. Uh -huh, and it just went on. And then in 2006, Casey came here. <laughs> and we all went to Louisiana. Well, to before family. that, 
No, but I'm on about did the backwards file. What's the backwards yeah, file? No, but before before that bit, it mm -hmm. was the bit where I, we were in the airport, and I, I basically you were dropping me off at the airport and I basically proposed and then turned around and got on a plane and left. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't give him an answer. Yeah. That was a really long flight, wasn't it? Yes, too? it was, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Um, but then, yeah, then I came over and you and me and your parents got on a cruise and cruised to Florida and then drove to Louisiana and all my family. Yeah, and they were all great and fantastic. And then... My mum and dad felt a lot better for knowing where Casey were from. And as my mum would say, actually meeting your people. Yes. And I think your parents and your granny and granddaddy and everyone felt a lot better because, you know, I wasn't this mystery person. person. Yeah. Also, his bestest friend told him to stop talking to me before we met because, do you know what? You'll waste your life, Casey. You'll sit at a computer screen staring at it and she'll be staring back and you'll get old and you'll get grey and you'll be alone. Yeah, my, 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 my advice, my best friend, was an online relationship's never going to go anywhere. You'll end up Sorry, just I'm wasting just things, talk. wasting your life and, then, <laughs> um, yeah, growing old alone. That was... Unfortunately, the advice I got from, from my friends, they didn't have much faith in us. But go <laughs> figure. We proved them wrong. Yep. Uh, so that's how we met. Okay. Um, a couple follow-up questions that we've had asked in the chat and also in advance um, okay. for both of us. Right. Do we prefer... The US or the UK? Do you know what? That is, I think, nearly one of the first questions people ask when they meet us. Yeah. Because I open my mouth and then he opens his. And then the question. I, I couldn't stay when I, Sue's saying I should have stayed when I, when I proposed. I, I couldn't. I, I, it was literally a last minute thing. As I was boarding my flight, my my visa was running out, so I had to go. No, you know what <laughs> he did? It did the proposing, and then walked off. And you know what did that? And I'm sure I know why he did that. And to this day, I swear it's why you did that. Because you walked off, you didn't look back, and you'd never done that at Manchester. You know when he, he went through. Even the security people, where you go through security, and you as both, and yeah. it will like I've been back and forth that many times. Yeah. Oh, you'll be back soon, you know, and things. And I think you did that, and you walked up, and you didn't look back in case I went no, and then you had to sit on that flight. And it's true, isn't it? Would I do something like that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so yeah, US or UK preferred. So hard. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. It's such a hard question. Because you know where we prefer an island in the middle of the ocean that we're halfway because for me this is my home and you know but I've got another home and it's thousands of miles away. And it's true because yeah. I class Louisiana as home too. Yeah, I mean, it's like this is home. I mean, even though that is home, this is home. Um, it's it's odd. I I miss a few specific things about Louisiana. Um, I miss being able to go hunting. That yeah, was and you never such a it when you were there. Yeah, and it was a thing I really took advantage of when I was there. Or I, I took I didn't take advantage of when I was there. I took I I, I took it for granted. That's it, what you do with things. And then it's when you're away from things that yeah. you realise. So so I miss being able to go hunting and, and fishing and, you know, spending the day you out on the lake. You fish in here. When you put the fish back, it's not fishing. You you're just go, feeding them. You can go see fish. <laughs> Don't put them back. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, there are elements of Louisiana I miss. Um, crime is... 
isn't actually as high in Louisiana as a lot of people think. No. Um, there is a lot of crime around New, New Orleans, Orleans down and that Baton way, Rouge. But you live in the, um, the The couple really big cities up in the, in the south of Louisiana have quite high crime rates. Um, but northern Louisiana, where I was from, um, crime was really low. Um, so, yeah, there, there are specific things like that I miss. I think there's probably some things from here that you would miss if we went that way. Um, the main reason for settling here was... Well, that, that was about to I say that leads into the next question of what made us choose here. here. What made us choose here was, number one, my family. I had a son who was a teenager at that time. So... You also had your parents here. You had both of your brothers here. And we were all in the accident. You know, it just made us all... We were, we were so close anyway. Yeah. You Joanne know, had a very close family here. And, and then, my family, although I had... Although I was close to some of them, we were a bit more spread yeah, out. Yeah, but then like us, we were so close. And then when I had my accident, that just meant everyone, you know, you'd think everyone had drunk. Well, a lot of people had drunk for the hills and think, oh, you know, my older brother gave up his regular job and went freelance. He's a graphic designer, <coughs> he's a ceramicist. He's amazing. He's He helps look after me. Um. My younger brother was a professional rugby player, you know, and it's it's just, you know, my dad retired early, my mum retired early, very early. And so family and, let's be honest, healthcare. Well, I was about to say, uh, I think Candy just mentioned that healthcare would cost a fortune in the States. And that Unless was part of had a job with and that was part of the decision as well with Joanne's ongoing um healthcare costs. Um it made a lot more sense logically to be here as well as, yeah. as the family elements. Um so I mean we did consider you at USA. Um we've considered getting a summer house there up to now we still think about it sometimes you know and we'll never say never yeah uh but that's that's kind of why we why we decided what we did at the time and, and why we did that and it's you know it's always up for review but now we've got grandchildren here yeah so we'd um, have to steal them and take them with us if we or did we'd have to wait till they got old enough old, to travel old enough, yeah. you know so and then there's still be the healthcare thing I don't think it would be too much of an issue because you could get work with a good health plan. So anyway, that's why. Yeah. Uh, so I think that could be the grandkids in the other room. That's fine. There were a couple questions about the grandkids as well, kind of okay. how old they are and things like that. Now, obviously, for protection, we try to keep them, for the most part, off the channel. They keep trying to duck their way on. I know. Um, um, Annabelle's nine. She's ten in November. Mm -hmm. Dexter's seven and he'll be eight in March. Yes. Yeah. And they are here with us part of the week. They they do have their own rooms upstairs. Um, so yeah, they, they stay with us. They, they live here part of the week. Their dad yeah. lives here obviously with us as well. So they're staying with him. And then the other part of the week there with, with their the mom, mom which she only lives in the village so so not far no so it works for no sound what's happened to the sound can you guys hear us can you guys hear us okay no sound at all Testing one, two, three. Ah. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Is that better? Sound okay now? Good. Are you chief telling us to show? All right, okay. Okay, seems like the sound's working again. Um, so apologies if you did miss any of that yet. So uh, Annabelle's nine, Dexter's seven. They live with us part of the week with their dad. 
they live with their mom in the village the other half of the week. So, um, yeah, they've both got their own rooms here, and and there we are. Oh, it looks like some people can hear us and others can't. Oh no! Uh, I I can only say maybe refresh if you if you're having audio issues. You know, I think you might need to type yeah. that. We can't hear us. Yeah, go out, come back. Mm -hmm. In here. Good. Okay. Um, okay. So, next one, a really quick one. There have been a couple asked about if I drive. Yes, I do drive. Um, I'm not a particular fan of driving in the UK. It's not my favorite thing, but I do drive. I do have a car. Uh, the reason that you will normally see Joanne driving if we go out together is because if we're in Joanne's car, it's normally set up for her to drive. So rather than swapping the seats over and yeah, because doing... we can have it set up. So I'm a passenger in the front, and Casey could drive, or whoever could drive. Yeah. But, but if it's set oh, up for yeah. Joanne, then we normally because leave it. Because normally when people see me and my M, Emma, yeah, Emma's driving. So, but it's still my car. So mm -hmm. it the seat moves so yeah. yeah so that's all for that one that, that's why you will see joanne driving more than more than me in in her videos normally uh, and then the last question that we have as uh, a pre pre-asked question is kind of i guess mainly for me but a bit for both of us okay well go on then we've Wobble. we've been asked about the story of the guitar on the wall um i know you see it a lot don't you now there's there's a lot of history behind that coming from a couple different directions so growing up my dad uh played in multiple bands he was a bass player he was a guitar player bands you've heard of uh yeah he i mean he he knew some quite quite famous bands he he jammed with some of them he was never on any uh albums or anything like that but, yeah, but he did was he, he did he did he did live things, things with them yeah mm -hmm. um but so so i grew up around my dad playing the guitar all my life um i got over here and joanne's dad played the guitar as well he did um and in some bizarre twist of fate, Colin, which is Joanne's dad, picked up a guitar that had that sunburst pattern that looked almost identical. Oh, it's a bass, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's a sunburst pattern bass uh, that looked almost identical to one of my dad's old basses. Um, and I mean, I as soon as I saw it, it I, I fell in love with it. And me and my dad were good at guitar shopping because yeah. you don't want to hear it, but I play a little bit and not yeah. keyboard. And I was always things. more of a singer than I was a, I a know, musician. I'm learning but... the ukulele. Yeah, I forever get yeah. my finger out and do um, it. But basically, so that was that that guitar belonged to Joanne's dad. That was a guitar that reminded me of a uh, of a bass of my dad's. And one Christmas, Colin gave it to me. He gifted it to you. He that gifted was it to major. me. Yeah, and uh, I don't play it much. I'm not very good, but I, I love it. Telling and, Should have a few uh, lessons. One of these. One of these days, I might actually get around to, to being decent with it. But um, it sits on the wall. But yeah, it's there. It's it's it's, it's in its pride of place. On our bedroom wall, and when the kids go past, <laughs> you'll hear ding, this ding, 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 and I go plucking those strings. Touch it. But yes. Yeah. Uh, and in our sunroom, room, there's a keyboard, which we actually got for Annabelle last Christmas. But I have a full-size keyboard that isn't out. Um, 
when I used to sing quite a bit, I was in the mm. community choir and we used to sing together. Yeah, I used to sing quite a bit, although I can't really like I used to anymore. No, because I I had some some issues a few years ago. I had a, an operation that went wrong, and I had a, quite a bit of lung damage. He ended up in intensive care. Was very yeah. very ill, so yeah, he can't get the. But so, you can still sing because you have sung in church after that when we've been. Yeah, I don't have the totally the the, yeah. the breath control that I used to have. So it, it's a lot harder and for I've, me to sing. Now. I've even been known to go singing at yeah. singing at the uh, senior center. Richard Smith's back. Bluegrass. Now that I have not heard of that in a long while. I've heard of. I I, I couldn't bring any, any of it to mind just now, but I know I know that I've heard of Richard Smith. Do you know what? I'm glad you love singing because <laughs> singing brings me loads of joy. And because of my car and how my MS is affecting things, I find it hard. And I have considered going back to the choir because I saw somebody in the light. Oh, come back, come back. Um, but I still sing. I sing mm -hmm. all the time, me. And that's why you see me singing in the cat. You see me and Emma singing in the cat. And, yes, we'd love to sing for you because we're so fantastic. Get it, but we can't. No, copyright. copyright's a nightmare with that. So we can't. Uh, but no, I, I grew up around a lot of bluegrass music, a lot of country music, and a lot of gospel music. And um, bizarrely, I loved country. Yeah, that was another thing that we had in common that really surprised me when we when we got mm -hmm. together. Um, but I, I grew up around around the church. My 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 grandfather was a, a Southern Baptist minister. And he was a choir director before he was a, a minister. So I'm youth choir. I, I was I was youth choir leader at my church for years. I I led adult choir a few times whenever he wasn't well. Mm -hmm. uh, I I would step in after. after and that a was while. another bizarre thing as well because I, as I got older, as a ch I'd say about probably about ten ish. I started going to church with a lady that my mum worked with that knew went to church. And we'd always gone to like Sunday school at the Baptist chapel that wasn't far from my house. And before that, I even went to Sunshine Corner, you know, that was like a little group for younger kids. And, you know, I've still got my Bible, my children's Bible from there that I got. Yeah. And then we've got Granny and Granddad Bibles as well now. Mm. Yeah, so there we go. So we had some really bizarre weird things in common. Oh, now, th now there's a question for us, Joanne. Mm -hmm. Did we want children together? No. <laughs> now here's a big question. Here's the thing to bear in mind: when when we got together, Robert was already teenager. Was he 14, something like that? Yeah. So Joanne already had a teenage son when we got together. And I have two younger brothers who are like 10 to 12 years younger than me. So because my dad had been working all the time and a lot of that was going on, I had kind of already done the t-ball, baseball, football coach for my younger brothers. Um, my younger brothers, oddly, aren't actually that far younger than Robert. Just like late six months older and yeah. like something like, oh, nine months older, nine months yeah. younger. So, so even though it was yeah, as an older brother, I had kind of already done a lot of the dad stuff with my brothers because of the age difference. And then coming along and having Joanne already have a teenage son, and the we did really talk about it though. yeah the the extra stress and the extra along with having kids in a wheelchair my MS. with ms with all the rest of it i mean everybody people do it mm -hmm. but we we just decided that we kind of had already we'd already had that that experience of and things. And you so. always say you skip to the best bit. Yeah, and I yeah, I will always say I skip to the best bit. I skip to having grandkids. So that was kind of my way of, of getting around that as well. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have we got anybody with any other questions that they want to ask before we wrap up for the evening? Unfortunately, I can't wrap you up. No, she did wrap my. I, she got me my watch for my for our anniversary. You got me some lovely things. I'm so happy, <laughs> didn't you? Lego. Yeah, he got me some more Lego. He got me a beautiful pendant and one heart's crystal in it, and the other heart is um, silver. And then there's the uh, stone for September for our anniversary. And it very good, Casey. Top points, but. You'll see, I always have this around my neck. Always. Never take it off, do I? Sleep in it. Yep. Shower in it, bath in it, everything in it. Uh, only time I'll take it off is the hospital and I make for x rays. I make them yeah. take it off and put it straight back on because this was a gift from Emma and Ash when they got married. So, so the necklace I gave her is not as important <laughs> as the one Emma gave her, of course, you know. And I've had it around my neck since. Yeah. But you may see his feature, but I do like to keep this one. Yeah, I, Zuzu's saying she loves, or, or they love Lego. As, as you can see here behind me, we've got quite a bit of... Uh, it was going to turn the camera, go. go on, turn it, Here. turn it, and we haven't got a belt. Turn it some more. We've, we've got all sorts. There's the Optimus Prime that Joanne got me at Legoland, and the Groot that the kids got me for my birthday. The sailboat, a, a Christmas house, some Christmassy, uh, the rest of our Lego city buildings. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. One more question before we go, then. Someone just asked, how did you meet Emma? <laughs> I don't know whether to wait for Emma for that. But I will tell you briefly how we met. But I'll look at my glasses with the heat. Ooh. Um, I'll tell you how we did meet, but... And then I suppose me and Emma can elaborate on it because it's the right story just to... Everything involving Joanne and Emma can be summed up as a right story. It's brilliant. So what it was, if I hadn't uh, by some fluke of fate met Emma, we would have been divorced now because our lovely fur babies and... Of course, fur babies make a mess in the garden. And as you all know, Emma is the dog poo fairy. And I used to get six into him. Well, you go out and pick it up. And he's like, yeah, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And I, it just got to be a You thing. are leaving out the fact that I was having quite a few back and knee issues at the time. Well, you which is why it. I well, was... you didn't have to bend. Anyway. 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 So, I just went on the internet because I thought there must, there's got to be somebody that does this. <laughs> and then I thought, let's see. And I just typed in, you know, um, dog poo picker up as our pet waste removers. I don't know what I, I did. And found Emma. Emma's. Details popped up, and I rang Emma and I said, "Look, I've got two golden retrievers." Yada yada yada, and uh, she came. We had a chat while she was doing it, and then I knew straight away I was going to be her friend, and I knew it. You can't understand it how I know this so quick, but Joanne can meet someone and immediately know. That's going to be it for the rest of the Yeah, morning. whereas it takes me a lot more to kind of get. Or if if I don't, how can I put this? If I don't really like somebody, I don't suffer fools. No. I'm civil and I'm polite and I'm nice, but you'll 
you know, if you saw me in those situations, I'm not. Yeah, whereas you can be polite to someone you don't like. If I don't like someone, mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty clear about it. Yeah. So, and then, you know, I would have a chat every week. And that's how we met. And she is one of my bestest, bestest friends. And she's mm -hmm. so loving. And she's just Emma. What can I say? Yeah, she's Emma. That's. Yeah, and Emma Nash. Uh, of friends, good friends. They've become really good friends to both of us, yeah. Yeah, they have. Yeah. So that's how we met. Oh, oh. Do you know what, right? I am going to say this, and I do mean it, because I will say, you see, when I met him, and I went over to America and spent time in proper America, not in New York or wherever, and I don't mean anything bad by saying New York. What I mean is it'd be like people coming here and just going to London. You yeah. know. But that people isn't think the rest that of London England. is the UK, just like people think New York is the US, yeah. So, you know, and I'd hear people saying, Love you, love you. And I'd go, How can people just do that when they don't mm. really know them or whatever? I never say that unless I mean it. And you know what? I do love you guys so much. I appreciate you all. I look forward to the comments. I know I'm crappy at answering. But you know oh, what? Shannon's from New York. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. And you know what? Well, I don't know how many times I've been there. I mean Manhattan. We we used to uh, take cruises from Southampton to New York and back and quite the, regularly. We married too. Yeah, so we've been there quite a few times. But you'll know what I mean because like once you get out of um, I don't know whereabouts in New York, yeah, whether you're in uh, Manhattan or or Brooklyn or what you know, like the yeah. surrounding state suburbs. New York State, not New York City. Ah, so. right. So you'll you'll know exactly what we mean then. People people hear the USA or they hear New York and they immediately think New York City. They think Manhattan. They don't realize all of the rest of New York and all of the rest of America is so different from that. Yeah. Um, so um, uh, that's why I don't say that unless I truly mean it. Yeah. I'm not good at that. I'm not fake. Yeah. Um, Catherine, I, I've seen the question you asked about sending things to us. Um, we do appreciate anything that, that you want to send across. But you don't have, you don't have to. to. We don't have a PO box set up at the moment. Um, we do have Amazon lists that people can, if they want to give something, can send through. Um, but I don't think we currently have a, a way of just sending things direct. It's something that we might need to look into, but honestly, it's appreciated. But you don't, you don't need to. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you though. Yeah. Like I say, we do have um, the wish list, don't we? That yeah. you can send things to us off the list, sort of thing. But yeah. I, I think haven't it will even also, looked at it for ages. I think it will then I? also let you send anything else on Amazon if you have something from the list in the basket as well. Mm -hmm. But it's like a yeah. gift registry almost, kind isn't of. It? Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah, final question. And this really will be the final question this mm -hmm. time because yeah. uh, we are going on about an hour now. Um, we've been asked, when are we going to do this again? Now, this was a question. I, this was a question that for, from me to you. Would you like to see this again? Um, Are you guys interested in more live lives from us? Is it something that you'd, you'd watch if we did it monthly or something like that? It's exactly or, you know, um, if it's something you are interested in, then it's something we will do and... Mm -hmm. And get better at, hopefully. And hopefully YouTube won't be against us. And what we'll do is we'll try and find a time 
but it works for most people you know yeah. so maybe because i know somebody saying you know like it's 6 a.m in new zealand i'm going to try and get up and put a few positives on yes we should do this again so there you go mm. <laughs> right then so even like maybe we'd move it to seven o'clock or or something you know yeah. and we'll try and find a maybe put a post up on the channel to let people mm. vote on what time works best for them yeah yeah we'll look into it though and uh we'll definitely do it again we'll just need to figure out when that's going to be next all right well, thank you all for bearing with us yes much much appreciated we we we, we love the fact that uh that you guys stuck with us and we appreciate you guys being here so uh and what time is it here be... it's half seven in the evening currently so we're five hours apart from you sue so that's not bad Look, I used to live my life on a six-hour time difference. Yeah. I could tell you the time better in Louisiana than I could here. You know. Um, so. oh, Nicholas first live. Oh. oh. And we've hit half seven, and the lights have all come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny that. So, yeah, and we'll, this will be posted as a vlog. Yeah, so we'll post this so long so for people to catch long. up and we can go from there. All right, guys. So, yeah, we will see you next time then. Um, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled videos tomorrow. We will. Thank and you we'll again. we'll speak to you guys soon. See you all in the next vlog, lovely people. Bye-bye. Bye for now.